I want to get your thoughts on this presidential race so far, Carson. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's looking really good for President Trump, um, especially when you have people like that that are advocating for Kamala Harris. And she can't even say the talking points correctly. She can't even say, I grew up in a middle class family at this point and genuinely mean it because everyone knows it's a lie. Everyone knows that her father was a Marxist professor that taught socialism in California, I believe. And uh, just her whole point of view on the world are not clear eyes, they're clouded eyes. And I think that when she talks about growing up in a middle class family, she wouldn't know what that's like for the past 30 or 40 years. Women around your age are pulling in big numbers for Kamala. Uh, so you're a college kid uh, talking to the female students around ASU. Uh, what, what temperature are you gauging in regards to how much they wanna vote for Kamala versus Trump? Um. Well, you know, I, I think there's a silent majority, not just within the college campuses, but, or, you know, around the country. However, if we're going to talk about specifically women, I mean, normally, and I hate to be biased, I think it's only the pretty women, um, <laughs> but not always. Uh, but no, yeah, we're, there is definitely um, a leaning towards Kamala Harris due to the um, abortion situation. And, you know, Kamala Harris is kind of uh, fighting for the emotional stance. She's hitting you emotionally, right? She's trying to convince uh, people, especially women, emotionally, right? Donald Trump is trying to take your rights away. He's a mason uh, misogynist. He fights for the patriarchy, which is obviously going to want to leave you into uh, falling into her hands. 